so blue. And yeah, she's a boss I am, guys. another video with me to my 10 subscribers to my day ones what it do baby and if you're new here my name is Danelle Moth and I hope you like it enough to stay and subscribe and become part of the family so please go ahead and click the subscribe button and please don't forget to like and comment in the comment section leave me some hearts so back with another vlogmas episode this is episode three anyway uh, it's a gloomy day so I just finished bathing. I want to go and do my hair. So um, it's during the week, and I'm thinking like, if I do my hair during the week, it's best because um, the salon is basically empty. So I get to do uh, my hair quick and fast, and I'll be out of there within an hour or two. And yeah. So it's raining today and yeah, <laughs> I doubt people will be on the streets. So I bet the saloon is going to be really empty as well. So yeah, I want to go do that. And then earlier on, I I was washing the shower. So I was using this uh, mold stuff to remove the mold in the shower. So I was just applying it on the tiles there in between the lines because that can really get hectic. And it does get rid of them, um, you know, so it make it look better. So, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go to Florida Road, um, my usual spot, and do my hair and nails. And then, um, yeah, after that, i uh, come back home and then continue with the rest of the day. So, so yeah, this is me with my lazy outfit, um, you know, baby outfit. Like, I don't want to dress up and stuff. <laughs> So yeah, let's go to the saloon. Thank you. 
came back from doing my hair and nails and this is how my nails look i went for black this time around uh in an almond shape and i am loving the color i am loving it and i hope they're gonna last because it was a tip and gel so they had to add the tip but they did um the top with gel and they didn't apply any acrylic so mm -hmm. I wonder if it's gonna last but hopefully it does but yeah they didn't have black and like acrylic so they used a uh, gel to cover up but I'm still surprised still though with the technique I thought they're gonna use like you know the neutral um what do you call it? the neutral acrylic and then apply gel on top but they didn't do that they just did the gel stuff on top of just tips so I want to see how long they will last for and if this technique works then I must start doing this tip gel instead of acrylic because acrylic is very harsh so but we'll see anyway and then this is my hair honey <laughs> so <laughs> I have to say that I make everything look good on a normal day, people would consider this a wifely hairstyle, but honey, look at me. Just look at me. <laughs> like even my head and scalp, I believe that they make things look very good because every time they do my hair, like I just look so good that everyone always has to compliment me before I leave the salon because I just look so good. And someone else could do the hairstyle and they wouldn't look as good, but my head and scalp, just make hairstyles look so good so yeah if anyone needs a hair ambassador like you know especially fiber ambassador i'm your girl mm -hmm. <laughs> even my hands as well they make everything look nice any shape any color nice including my feet as well i make shoes look great okay let me stop all right <laughs> so anyway i passed by the garage because i'm so hungry so i got myself some steak and kidney pie as well as some chutney uh flavored maize snacks liquids so yeah i'm just going to be having some pie and then some bit of um liquids hopefully a bit because sometimes i overindulge and i just finish the whole packet like but yeah one thing though that i have to highlight with this salon that i really like them right? and they really do their job very well but i'm not impressed with one thing and that has to do with their service partially how they render their service right i remember the first time when i went um the lady who did my hair was complaining about how short my hair is while braiding my hair to her colleagues like which was rude you know because i'm sitting there and you're busy uttering such comments right in front of me while you're busy working on my head okay because i'm too quiet and stuff i i kept quiet i was angry but i just kept quiet and i was like hmm i was like okay let me just give them a second chance and go back again last time i went right that's when i got my um oh i was not with you guys um it was the month that i didn't vlog so i went to do a straight back and get some nails as well so when i did that um there was a promo that they put online and it didn't have an end date on the poster so it just said an october promo like it seems like an october promo going on and then when i get there I'm under the assumption that I'm doing the promo, I do the acrylic nails, I do the hair and then in my mind for example I think it was I was supposed to pay around 450 on that promo right and then once it was done and I was paying now my bill is 600 and I'm like why is my bill 600 and they're like no the promo ended on the 24th but I'm like only your promo there was no date of when the thing is ending which i think they did leave by mistake that month but there was no end date there as in like at the end of this day you know so it wasn't my fault but at the end of the day i paid the price i was like okay it's fine i paid the 600 and then i left but i wasn't happy because i went there because of the promo so it was like um 
a clickbait because I went but I didn't get what I was promised, you know. So I left them and I paid the 600 and I went home. Today, they washed my hair and I didn't know that I have to pay for washing my hair. Because last time, I went with my hair washed and I told the lady that my hair is washed and I don't need to wash my hair. And she said, no, I want to hair dry it. So I want to wash it first so I can hair dry it. Okay, fine. They did that. They didn't charge me, right? Today, once again, I went with my hair washed. They washed my hair still. And then they did, they did hair dry it. When it was time to pay, extra 100 ran on top because I am paying for washing my hair. I'm like, nah, 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 fam. No ways, wait. I came with my hair washed. She said she wants to wash it because she wants to hair dry it. So, I'm not at fault here. Like, I'm tired of paying the price for your guys' um, miscommunication. And, you know, I'm not doing that to myself. So, today I was like, you know what? I am paying. I'm not paying this extra 100 rent. Not today. So now this is leaving like a better, a bittersweet feeling because I feel like I don't want to go there anymore. I just feel like I don't want to go there anymore. Like, yes, they're, they're good. They're, they're, the service is good. And obviously we have different experiences. But from my part, I, I haven't been having good experiences because of miscommunications. And as a client, I'm not happy. I feel like I must start looking elsewhere. Like I said, most people know how to get my hair right because my hair is so easy it makes hairstyles look good so even if i change saloons i don't think i'm gonna be at a loss so i don't know from now on i might start going to a different saloon because i don't feel like i'm gonna be comfortable going there again and then chilling with them talking to them and and we find when we have this hanging things around you know because also now it feels like i'm the complaining customer the customer was always complaining this is the second time i'm complaining about the price you know so like <laughs> yeah bruh like but anyway it is what it is anyway let me just go and eat i'm so hungry and then yeah i'll see you guys around hi my loves good morning welcome back to another day so today is a friday and it's the day of the year end function and of course beach cleanup so my team's idea of team building and fun was cleaning up the beach and <laughs> yeah so yeah it's early in the morning now i'm heading to the office i'm going for the beach cleanup and yeah i shall see you guys later bye
Hey, she's a bozo, yeah, my guys. So, guys, we're at the beach cleanup, and yeah, no, we're working very hard because um, most of us are now tired, and it's been just an hour, but we're already feeling, um, you know, the hard labor that we're doing. So, we are very tired, but yeah, we're committed to cleaning the beach, keeping it clean, and you know, so you guys stop littering the beach because the dirt you find things that you didn't even think you can find like toothbrushes like oh my god there's such a lot of things that you find here that is not even fun you guys but yeah anyway we are out here and yeah currently next to the be uh the bridge that i usually pass when i go to gateway so today i'm underneath it um cleaning so yeah Let's continue working, baby. Hi, my loves. So it's later in the day, and honey. And we are looking good. Who is this? <laughs> yes, it's me, honey. So, yeah, it's late in the afternoon, and I just got at the restaurant. So, now I'll be going out of the car and heading into the restaurant now. So, it's time to eat, drink, have conversations, and have fun with the team. So, that's what we're going to be doing now. But anyway, how gorgeous to a look! <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe this is me. Like, I'm so gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and yeah, have some fun. And Because there was unlimited drinks 
So we're having fun and we played a few games and we had some fun. Had some time to catch up with my colleagues and you know, just have fun as usual because we are such a, a fun team, free spirited. Like, yeah, we're just a bunch of happy people and when we're together, it's just good times, okay? So, <laughs> I won an award and they gave me this. So, apparently, I am the quietest in the team. Does the word quietest exist? I'm not too sure, but I am quiet in a loud team. So I wonder what would be the most quiet in the team. And they gave me this um this earplugs, you know, to denoise, you know, to put them in and denoise. Obviously, just as a prop, not to like literally put them, but just to say and I want to say for being the most quiet in their loudest team. <laughs> Here's you get, which is surprising me, the most quiet. But yeah, I think so. I don't think I'm that loud and active in my team. I'm, I'm always quiet, man. I'm always that girl who's shy and stuff. Like, I am naturally shy and stuff. Um, it just depends on situations and stuff. But today, see days like today, I was loud because, I mean, I had the alcohol. Sana, please tell me why I'm sitting here and recording and my phone is so full, like, my phone is not recording. I'm out here talking to myself. My phone is not recording because the storage is full and I didn't even hear that. And I'm just busy talking. Wow. But anyway, <laughs> I was telling you about um, the award that I got. And yeah, which not really surprising. But um, I got my secret sector gift, which I opened because I was speaking to myself, thinking I'm showing you guys and it turns out i was speaking to myself but i got this uh, mini wireless speaker from mr price apparel so this is the packaging this is how it looks like so this was retailing for 100 rands so remember our rules for the secret santa gift is it must be 100 rands so this was 100 rands so yeah i got this nice portable speaker which is so loud and I love it so much because I feel like it's so loud. Like, I want you guys to hear it. Like, did you hear how loud that is? Like, it's super loud. So I feel like I'm going to enjoy having this in my house, like, to play some music and stuff. And also, I feel like going out and stuff um, with my friends or whatever, at the park or whatever, I can still use this. Um, trying to turn it on. Do you hear how loud this is? Ah, this is a super dope gift. I appreciate this so much. Whoever who bought this was very thoughtful because like, who thought like a speaker for 100 rand could be this loud and uh, very useful, but it is like, it's very loud and uh, I love it because it is very loud. So we're really gonna put this to good use. And <laughs> initially, I stole a, a bottle of wine from someone, but I knew I was fighting for my love with that gift because someone else stole it from me as well, like, because everyone wanted that bottle of wine. <laughs> so I stole the bottle from someone and someone also stole it from me. So, uh, but at the end of the day, I still got a good gift because this is good. I always got, I always get like good props to use that I wouldn't think of or buy myself, but this is like a good thing. It comes with uh, a charger. So this is the charger. So yeah, for me, this is like a really great gift. I'm gonna put it to good use. And yeah, today was just so awesome. We had some good time and it was very nice. I did a get ready with me video. If you wanna see how I got this look at how I'm looking, please watch my YouTube shots and also please watch my Instagram and TikTok videos as well. Leave um, the handles below. So yeah, I did a get ready with me, but I just didn't do it here on YouTube in terms of like, oh well, I did it here on YouTube because it's on YouTube shots. What do, what do I even mean? It's on YouTube shots, but I'll show you how I look. But um, it was fun today. So now um, I'm gonna order in some food because 
we did eat we had some stutters we had some main course we had some dessert but we also had a lot to drink okay so because of that i want to order in some food so that i can you know level this this whatever this is like you know get some more food to take down the alcohol if you know what i mean so i think i'm gonna order in some food because it's still early because it's just before seven and it's still pretty much like light outside it still looks like daytime so i want to get some food so that i can have something before i sleep so that you know i can balance myself so that i don't wake up with a hangover or feeling sick and stuff like that because i've been drinking i was drinking gin and tonic today and yeah i have to say it went in hey it really went in <laughs> and even after eating we still continue drinking so it really you know went in so that's what i'm gonna do now and my colleague suggested that we go out actually so she said she wanted to go to news cafe but i haven't seen a news cafe around here so i don't know which one she was referring to but i also suggested that we can do rockets in umklang as well so she was also saying news cafe i think in umklang i also just suggested rockets but we'll see that's I might as well. I don't know if we will go out, but um, second location. <laughs> but I don't know. But we'll see. But she suggested that, but I'm not too sure. But that's on the radar. But yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to say, you know what? Thank you so much for watching. For watching. So was, no wait. Why do I want to close the vlog before showing you guys what I'm wearing? But please don't forget to comment in the comment section leave those hearts in the comment section and yeah like the video let me show you what i'm wearing and then also um if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe don't leave without subscribing hit the subscribe button so just a quick outfit check so i'm wearing this dress it's a it's a long dress it's like almost a, a crop top vibe with the skirt but it's actually one piece from Mr. Price, I'm wearing rings as well from Mr. Price as well, some anklets from Mr. Price and I was wearing some sandals that are sitting over there but if you want to see the whole fit, please check out my um, short reel so I did a YouTube short, please check out the outfit there so yeah, if you have watched up until this far, thank you so much for watching my love I appreciate you so much and yeah, thank you for the continuous love and support. And yeah, please don't forget to like I said and comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you guys on my next one. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye.